Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to discuss some topic that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got this on a telegram channel called Forbidden Science. Please check the description below to know more about the channel. Some might say that I'm being repetitive by discussing this topic. But that's the whole point. This is proof that a small occult elite of the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, I also have a telegram channel. There, I will share various information that I cannot share here. Don't forget to subscribe to my backup YouTube channel, the links is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Eberd Mahler's Expeditions to the Yucatan, 1890s. The trees are very young. In those latitudes, it only takes 15 to 20 years for a tree to grow to the size of the photo. It begs the question. When did the ruins become overgrown? How long ago did ancient civilization leave this place? This is the heart of the rainforest. Bailey Electric with an Edison battery during a thousand mile test drive. Everyone knows that the internal combustion engine has a very low efficiency of about 23%. The electric motor has 90 to 95% efficiency. And knowing this, engineers and scientists continue to improve gasoline engines. As a result, the future is in electric motors. The technology has been known for a long time. But it was necessary to stall progress in the name of super profits from oil. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Horizontal traces on the steep walls are clearly not from a chisel or other hand tools. Such traces are left by the tunneling equipment. One version is that the excavation was made by a road header. But historical chronicles tell that the mountain no Kajiri is simply an Edo period quarry in Japan, about 1603 to 1868, and they're simply cut out tough by hand. In 1945, a U.S. pilot accidentally saw a huge pyramid, and later an entire valley with pyramids in China, although previously it was certainly not known about it. Twenty years after that, the media mentioned the Chinese pyramids, but then at one point, everyone forgot about them. And in the 2000s, the Chinese government itself acknowledged the pyramids existed. But almost immediately, a military base was established there, and the area became inaccessible for any research. Coincidence. To this day, it is not known what kind of pyramids in China, what was found in them, and how old they are. However, it is possible to assume that China is not going to reveal these mysteries. The Vatican Library is one of the most guarded sites in the world. Its protection is more serious than that of any existing nuclear power plant. In addition to numerous Swiss guards, the library is guarded by modern automatic systems that form several levels of security. Only a limited number of people could get in. At the same time, the entrance to the archive does not imply free movement and access to any documents. The visitor indicates the topic of interest, and the appropriate literature is selected. This kind of secrecy raises questions about what the Vatican archives actually hold. Probably that is where the Library of Ivan the Terrible and the Library of Alexandria are kept. In one of the ancient Chinese chronicles, there is a description of a strange event. 
during the reign of Emperor Huang Di, about 2600 BC, in the valley of the Huanghe River, was a machine from which emerged a creature with a copper head and antennae, in addition, it was four-eyed and six-armed. A moving metal creature with antennae, who would believe it? But for a modern person, this is a typical description of a robot, and the chronicle was written under the emperor, describing the smallest details, which excludes the author's imagination. A manuscript from the 16th century, with images of weapons, rockets and other flying machines. In fact, similar records, manuscripts and other written sources, as well as images, found not a few, and all have a very different age. Found this very manuscript in the Romanian town of Sibiu, the discovery was made by Professor Du Tadiriu in 1961. It was written by Conrad Haas in 1556. Just what he depicted and described is difficult to explain and put into official history. According to mainstream history, people back then knew nothing about flying machines, but this engineer proves otherwise. On the pages were found drawings of ballistic missiles, various types of artillery weapons, something resembling a modern rocket, the most various mechanisms, apparatuses, and most importantly, saucer-like flying machines. Crystal Astronaut the figure on the photo is made of rock crystal from 1500 BC. Found in Anatolia. The Indo-European Hittites of the Bronze Age couldn't have worked the hard mineral so cleanly. Or did they use laser carving? The character's suit of armor differs sharply from the clothing and weapons of the Hittite Kingdom. In the Walters Museum, Baltimore, the object has only a serial number. Science ignores the artifact. A strange Ba's relief. The Mayan Ba's relief on the stone depicts the worship of a man with almond-shaped eyes, flying away in a personal UFO. Although there are plenty of such artifacts, this does not prevent scientists from selectively recognizing such artifacts as fakes, and everything around them as originals. Giant Stone Spheres these giant stone spheres have been present from Costa Rica to Bosnia and Herzegovina, and come in a variety of sizes. They were first discovered in South America in the 1930s by workers clearing the jungle. South American legends say that unimaginable treasures are hidden in the rocks. This led to the destruction of many of these spheres by people who did not realize their historical value. Although many of these spheres have been destroyed, no one has ever discovered anything inside them. No one can explain what these giant stone spheres were created for. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this, they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end. I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you in the next video.